And in business on Tuesday, the Nigerian Economic Summit Group officially made the book presentation and launch of her coffee table book titled In the National Interest. The 280 pages coffee table book showed a visual brew on sacrifices of the founding members. The Nigerian Economic Summit Group officially made the book presentation and launch of her coffee table book titled In the National Interest to the Press and snippets of the documentary which is on the valiant sacrifices of the NESG's founding members and interventions of the think tank organization over the years. What we have at today's Nigeria investment is a very so not only do we propose ideas, we also provide implementation templates. Excepts written by Ernest Shoneko in the book was read by Nkechi Onyeso of the NESG. Initially, people thought it was impossible to have a meeting of such where the public sector will present the budget to the private sector. However, by the time the people heard radio announcements that the president was meeting the private sector, the general populace bought into it. At that dinner, I presented the budget. From then on, the private sector started pushing for deregulation and securers ad advocated for fuel subsidy removal. Unfortunately, in 1994, there was another coup and the process made was aborted. After the coup, I was invited again on the budget-related matters. This time, I included all stakeholders, which comprise of technocrats, market women, students, and more. We did a uh, comprehensive agenda, which eventually led to the Vision 2010 exercise. There were conversations regarding Nigeria's three economic scenarios and possibilities of achieving the best-case scenario. We all know the situation in the country, so for example, the end, end of the documentary includes a scenario presentation, the three scenario financial presentation which was made at the summit, where we considered um, a best case scenario, an even case scenario, and a worst case scenario for Nigeria. 2020 was estimated to be 200 million plus, and the fear is that by 2050, the projection in Nigeria will be 411 thereabouts, so we double. And when you double your population, without doubling the infrastructure, and some of the infrastructure we have in Nigeria had been the way the were since we grew up, if we continue to grow at the rate at which we're growing, and we don't take time to add quality to our population, in other words, if we don't pay attention to human capital development, we may miss the mark, we may, be, we may not fulfill the first one. So to invest in our people, which invest in our economy, I want to continue the dialogue with government. Now, I always say, our government need to get out of the way. If you look at the size of total government to the economy of Nigeria, total government size spending and co is just about 10%. It's a private sector that are handcuffed the entire 90%. So what the government need to do is to allow private sector to do the work they can do better.